going to subtract with money or decimals, because when we're subtracting money, it has a decimal place in there. Okay, so right now you need a dry erase board and marker out. If you're not doing anything on your board, you're just going to watch me on the first one, and then we will do the next one together. Okay, so, so waiting on a couple. You got things in your hands. Picture. Okay, on the first one, I have $1.97 minus 68 cents. I'm going to have to rewrite that vertically to subtract it. So I'm going to write 197.68. That's writing it vertically. Air's gone. Yes, writing it vertically. Okay, there's something key that I did up here. And that is that I lined my decimal places up. You can see that this decimal place is above this one. So anytime you are subtracting money, still waiting. Take a Starbucks, and you'll recess again tomorrow. Please stop beating on your desk. We're only doing three problems together, so you better be paying attention. Okay, dollar ninety-seven minus sixty-eight cents. I lined up the decimals. That is very important when you are subtracting money or any time that you have decimal places. You have to line them up. Okay, so now it's just a matter of subtracting. Seven minus eight is one. Nope, just kidding. We can't do that. So I look at my next place value. I'm gonna borrow from there. That nine becomes an eight, and my seven becomes seventeen. Seventeen minus eight is. Nine. Starbucks. Eight minus six is two. One minus nothing is one. So a dollar twenty-nine is my answer. You also need to make sure you put the dollar sign whenever you give your answer today on the quick check. Dollar sign, and you need to have your decimal place. Even after I'm done, my decimal places are still lined up. So the entire process, line up your decimal places. Let's go to number two. We have $5 minus $2.32. You may work this one with me on your board. $5 minus $2.32. I'm going to rewrite that vertically and make sure that I line up my decimal places. Again, look, you see my decimal places lined up. And then, Jasper, I'm going to look at my lowest place value right here, the 0 and 2. Can I subtract 0 minus 2? No. 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 I look at my next place value. I can't borrow because there's 0 there. So I'll look even farther over, and I'm going to look at my 5 and borrow from that. So at my 5 changes to a 4. This 0 is a 10. Now I can borrow for 0 minus 2. So I'm going to borrow from my 10, 9, and my 0 becomes a 10. Because I regrouped. Now 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. Drop my decimal place straight down. So I'm going to put that in my answer right here, decimal place. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. But I cannot forget my dollar sign. $2.68 for $5 minus $2.32. Yep, this one is all on your own, and then we will do it together. So $3.21 minus $1.03. Guys, you're distracting others. It's hard to concentrate even for me. Please keep the talking to yourself. Jasper, we're waiting on you. Three dollars twenty-one cents minus a dollar three. That's 
professional places lined up. That's very important. We see a lot of people there doing that. Nice job. Always line those decimal places up. If you haven't lined up, it's just a matter of doing the subtraction we've been practicing the past couple days. Done. I give you about ten more seconds and we'll do it together. All right, looks like most of you are done. So I'm going to begin be by rewriting it. Three dollars and twenty-one cents minus a dollar three. Natalie, I had to line up my decimal places. It looks like I have it set up correctly, so now I'm ready to start subtracting. One minus three, can't do it. So look at my next place value. You have a two. That two becomes a one, and I bring ten over here. Ten plus the one I had is eleven. Eleven minus three is eight. 1 minus nothing is 1. Bring my decimal place straight down. That was a terrible decimal place. 3 minus 1 is 2. $2.18. Did anyone have a question or maybe get stuck on something there? Victor, I don't get it. What do you not understand? It's not any different than what we've been doing besides there's a decimal place in here and you have to line the decimal place up. So what part is confusing, Victor? What part? Okay. It's fine if you're confused, but I need to understand what's confusing you. 